Hey, hello everyone, Bruno here. And today we are going to see how we can deploy the .NET Aspire application that we see in the previous video. The one that includes Olama, includes deploy, a chatbot with the front end in place and more automatically to Azure in literally a couple of steps. So first, let's go to our solution. This is the one that we have, quick review here. This is the app host where we create a cache. We using the community toolkit, the Aspire community toolkit, we add support for Olama. This is super cool. And then our front end is going to use Olama. Check the previous video if you want to see how we do this. And you can find the repo here in the banner, in the banner before. Once we have this, what we are going to do, we are going to start the deployment. And by the way, everything that you need to do to deploy this is describing the repo where you can find the steps to deploy this. And the experience is going to be very similar in code spaces, in Windows, in Linux, and Mac and more, even if you use it in the container. So first, let's start with the first step here. Let me go to my console, which is basically ACD init. First of all, of course, you need to authenticate with your Azure ACD auth login, depending on what you are using is going to authenticate. I am already authenticated there, so I am going to do ACD init. I am going to use the code from my current directory, and I am going to confirm that this is what I want to do. And now I need to define the name of my environment. And I am going to do something cool like Olama Super Chat. I have my deployment ready to do. So the next step, once we do the init, is the ACD app. This is going to take some time. I'm going to fast forward this one because it's going to show first you need to select your subscription. And later also you need to define your region. I am going to use is US too. You can test with other regions. And now the deployment is done. We can see in the chat, we can see in the console how we have deployed for the API service, the cache, Olama service, web front end, and even the Aspire dashboard. If we go to the to the resource that we create, the Olama super chat, we will see here the same stuff. And if we go to the web front end in example, we can take a look here how we have the net Aspire dashboard. We can open the dashboard and we can see everything that we need here. We can even access the application, which is not going to work the first time. Why? Well, this is loading. If we check the steps in the deployment, we will see that right now, we, if we want to deploy a model in our Olama service, the Olama will say, the Olama service will say that we need to require more system memory. So there is a step to fix this. In the meantime, let's go back here to the dashboard. We can see everything. If we go to the front end, we have the application up and running, and we click in the list of models. Hey, we don't have any model available here. So let's see how we can fix this. It's a very simple fix. So what we need to do in order to upgrade this, we need to generate and change and upgrade the models the, and change basically how we deploy the Olama model. So we are going to do the ACD infra things command. This is a, I think it's an alpha. Uh, it's in alpha stage, so this is kind of a test. But when we do this, we are going to have a couple of files here that are going to basically represent each one of the service. We have a main visit file, and then we have API service, cache, and then Olama, web from then, temporal YAML file. And we want to edit the temporal YAML file. So we are going to open the temporal YAML file, and here at the bottom, we are going to add, when we define the Olama service after the volume mount, here, we are going to define also some values for the resources where we are going to say, hey, we want to have three CPUs and six gigabytes. So once we have this, all, the only thing that we need to do is to deploy. But we are not going to deploy everything. We are going to do ACD deploy, just the Olama model. There it is. We have the new service with more RAM and CPUs enabled to run with Olama. If we go back here to the services, let's go to the re register, refresh, we can access Olama. And we can even go here if you want. There are different ways that we can deploy the model here. So if we want to install the model, the model should be installing already there. But we can open the resource here and take a look there. Or we can go to the front end and check the model status. When we start the model status, when we start the front end, it will automatically download the model. So if we check the model status, there it is. It took literally 
minute and a half and download the model. So now we can open the chat and say, hey, who are you? This will start the Olama server, start the model, and we should get an answer anytime soon. And we have an answer here. Hi, I'm Fire, artificial language model. Hey, this is working. Let's do a two plus two test. Now the model is started, so it should be faster to answer the question. The sum of two plus two is four. And hey, everything is here. If we go back to the console and take a look at the Olama service, we will see here the two chats that we have here. It took five seconds to start the model running well. If we go to the front end, we will see the connection string with the full URL to access the model, the model that we have, the questions and answer, everything running here. And of course, everything managed and deployed and working in Aspire. So hey, I hope you like it. This is an example of how you can create a service, uh, create the .NET application, the .NET orchestration that have a front end using an Olama service deployed with the Aspire Community Toolkit. There is a manual step here and there to finish the deployment. I am going to improve to see if we can automate everything from scratch. So you only need to do ACD init, init and ACD app. That's it. But in the meantime, I hope you like it. And remember, everything is here. And please like, subscribe, and more to support the channel. Goodbye.